All right, we're going to continue with estimating the area of a variety of shapes. The big change this time is going to be that um, they're not all full squares. You're going to have to consider what you would do when there are just portions of a square that are covering a shape. So we're still measuring things and seeing how that can help us to compare and solve problems. We are still estimating and measuring for area in a variety of shapes, but they're not necessarily complete squares at this point. Okay, so if we wanted to determine the area of this triangle, what might we do? Well, here's one way. We could count, first of all, all of the whole squares. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven whole squares. Then we could continue and put all of our half squares together because we know a uh, half of a square and a half of a square all together makes one complete square. So I could say, okay, there's a half here and a half here. That's one. Another half and another half. That's two. So um, that would mean seven plus two. I'm now up to nine squares. And then I would continue uh, parts of the square that are not, not half but are still greater than a half. I could count as one. Parts of a half that are less than a half, I could ignore. So I'm going to add this one, um, and this is a little bit more than half. I'm going to add this one. So that's 9 plus 2 more, totaling 11 as my estimate for this area of this triangle. Now it's your turn to practice. Try with each of these shapes using what you see about the squares and, and try to determine what you would estimate each um, area to be. All right, well, let's take a look. Let's start with our whole squares. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight already. Um, half squares, there aren't really any half squares, but I notice that if I take this part of this square and this part of this square, they in fact make one. So I'm going to do that on this side and on this side. So that's plus two more. And I've noticed the same thing here. This part is really what's missing right here. So if I could change it and put it into there, that means this is one whole square now. So that's two there. And I could do the same thing here, put that in. That's another one there. So that's two as well. So eight plus two is 10 plus two is 12. 12 square units is what my estimate is. Let's try this next shape. Count my whole units first, or my whole squares. One, two, three, four. Um, I have one half and one half here. Two halves make a whole. And I have one half here and one half here. Two halves make a whole, so plus two. Four plus two is six. The estimated area of this shape is 6 centimeters squared. All right, now it's your turn to practice. Page 158, numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Um, estimating and measuring area of a variety of shapes. Make sure if you have any questions you ask. When you're finished, you can check and hand in.